Hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. Today we are gonna do update number seven in my pan those eyeshadows. If you are unfamiliar with this project, it is a project too that I am doing to hit pan in as many eyeshadows as I can this year. This project was started by Alexi. I will have her channel linked down below along with a few other people that really inspired me to do my own pan those eyeshadows. This is the project that really made me want to do YouTube because I mean it's just fun to document this. I thought it was amazing watching everyone hit pan. I was like I never even knew that was a thing like a year ago. I never knew that hitting like pan or like finishing your products up was a thing and I have like stumbled into the black hole of wanting to use everything up all the time. So I am going to show you guys what my color palette for the month of July looked like. Very colorful, very exciting. It was a fun month of color to say the least. Last month, if you saw my update, you would know that it was a super exciting update. I rolled in and rolled out four different shades and then we're on par doing that this month. So I have four new shadows that I'm going to be rolling into this project. We're just going to get started. Before we get into the updates, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. It does help me out. We'll go down from the product that was in here the longest to the ones that were rolled in the last update. And the first uh, the first product comes from my Kaleidos Futurism 3 Astro Pink Palette. And I never thought I would see the end. So I will show you a picture of the palette. <laughs> but guys, I am panning it. Oh my gosh. It kind of just snuck up on me. I all, one day was using it to do like an eye look that I kind of was doing for a while. Um, I'll post a picture of it. It's I did something super similar to this just to use this shade. And I actually hit pan and I was like, no way. So I'm so excited. I used this one 10 times this month, a total of 28 times. So I guess it wasn't that much. It's just, I have a really hard time reaching for purples. The next shade that is in my project comes from my Going Coconuts palette and the shade was Lovely Bunch. It was just a matte, like tan color. I'll input a picture of it and this is where we are now. This shade here, um, Lovely Bunch. As you can see, I did not hit pan. However, I have, I've done my due diligence. I set myself a goal that if I use a shade 40 times and I don't see the pan, I have the ability to roll this out and I am exercising my right to do that. So I am gonna roll out this shade. It is a lovely shade, but I do want to, I'm just kind of like sick of using this if I'm quite honest. The next shade, oh, everything else is just their new roll-ins. How awesome is that? So the next shade comes from my Sailor Moon. Um, this is the Pretty Guardian palette from ColourPop. The shade that I had in this was Twilight Flash. I will post a picture of it. But we are looking like that. So there is, I don't know if you'll be able to really tell, there is a dip in that shade. This is a lot softer formula than the other ColourPop shadow. So I, I really enjoy using this one. I do have that on in the crease today to kind of start my look out. And I can use this one the same basically way that I would use the Lovely Bunch, the last shade in my looks. The next shade, ooh, I'm, I'm excited about this. So it comes from my Savannah palette by C Color. This is the Safari palette dupe. So the shade that I selected is shade number seven and it was just a matte brown. Guys, look at, I actually hit a bonus pan in this palette alone when I was kind of using these shades. So really, really happy about that. So I, I'm so excited. Two pans in this palette already, like, that's awesome. I really, really, really like the formula of this C color palette. And I think that if you were interested in this um, Safari palette, but didn't want to pay that ridiculous price point, this is $8 on the C color website. Awesome deal. The next shade comes from this palette and it was shade number seven also in this palette. I have it labeled like row one, shade seven, row two, shade whatever. So I had row one, shade seven, so the seventh shade in this. It was this shade here. I have not hit pan yet. I do have this on my eyes today. There is some disturbance. I hope you can see that there is some disturbance in the pan on this, but nothing, nothing crazy. I know the pans aren't super deep in this palette, but that is a, it's a blue matte, like, 
there's only so much I can use a blue matte, you know? So I'm really excited to continue to use this and kind of play around with eye looks, but this is gonna, I think, be probably the slowest mover in this project right now. Then the last shade, I actually had a makeup casualty. If you've seen any of my recent videos, you would already know this, or if you saw my Instagram, you would already know this. But that comes from my Morphe 35M Boss Mood palette, and I had, in my shop, my stash, I mentioned like, I have a spoiler I don't want you guys to see in my little magnetic palette, which was this guy. The spoiler was I hit pan in this, but I, that same day I filmed my shop, my stash, I dropped this palette. I, I dropped it and I completely shattered the shade. I was able to salvage it, but I put them into my two Lorac pans that I was using to work on a couple of the rock shadows in my mission 100%. So I hit pan in this, but now I have like two pans. I'm considering my goal met for the sake of this project. The reason why it took me so few times to hit pan is because this was a shade that I did the dry repress method and it was the first time for me doing that dry press method and I don't think I ground the powder up fine enough when I pressed it and I also don't think I pressed it firmly enough because the pan that this was pressed in was kind of just like a little wonky, a little misshapen for me depotting this. This pressed so much better in these like square ones because I can get a nice firm press. And then I have the circle pans on their way eventually and I will repress this probably into a circle pan. I am considering this one gold met, but there's no like actual like satisfaction of seeing a pan in this, which is kind of disappointing. I did hit bonus pan in three shades. One of them you already saw, which comes from my Savannah palette, the cream shade here. I used it to blend out like and do like a really simple eye look using that matte brown. The next pan I hit bonus was the shade Artistry from my Morphe James Charles palette. And then the next shade, I didn't, I was like super surprised. This is Pop Star from the Morphe, focus on me. This is Pop Star from the Morphe 35M Boss Mood palette. You can, I hopefully you can see that pan there. So if you're curious about pan percentage, I'm going to look at my laptop. With those shades that I um, hit pan in this month, I've also decluttered quite a few shades. I like really scrutinized my collection, really dug deep into like what I was actually going to wear, what I is just kind of there to have there. So I have 460 eyeshadow pans total with 48 pans hit. That means I have a total pan percentage of 10.43. I do have a few eyeshadows on the way to me that are not accounted to in this, but I mean, 10.43% is huge. That's huge. And I'm so proud of that accomplishment. Okay, so I have my pretty random up. I'm gonna have just the screen recording I normally do posted so you guys can see what I roll. So I'm just gonna hit the button. The first shade I have is 393. The second shade is 336. The third shade is 351 and the fourth shade is 52. I'm gonna do something that I've never done in this project and that is uh, I'm gonna do re-rolls because I <laughs> first of all I forgot to screen record so if you're curious what I I got 39 gosh are you gonna focus this is terrible okay 39 333 three, I got 393 336 351 and 52 and three out of four of those shades are the exact same shade, just in different palettes. I don't care when I watch other people and they re-roll, I cannot work on three transition shades that are exactly the same and I would wear them the same way. I just can't, I can't do it. I, I'm, oh, I'm already working on one and that's, mm. So I'm going to share with you the shade that I'm going to keep in this project, and that was shade 393, and that comes from my ColourPop Sailor Moon Pretty Guardian palette, and as you know, we are working on the shade here called uh, Twilight Flash. I actually rolled the shade Justice, which I'm super excited about. This is like a matte yellow with some shimmer in it, or some glitter in it, or whatever, and that is what that guy is looking at. Just a really pretty shade and I can wear that every day honestly and be fine with it. So I'm going to re-roll three shades. The first shade is one one the first shade is 114. 
the second shade is 75 and the third shade is 193. So I'm gonna go look at what those are and I will be right back. Okay, I grabbed the new items and I haven't looked at them to see what they are, but I have a feeling I know what they are. So we already talked about rolling in this yellow from the Sailor Moon Pretty Guardian palette. That shade was called Justice. So now in this palette, I'm working on Twilight Flash and Justice there. I'm, I'm so excited for a yellow. I love a good yellow eyeshadow. The next shade I rolled in, I don't know the shade names or the shade numbers, but I rolled in my Masquerade palette by Julia's Place. Um, this is the, the big Mac Daddy size, and it's the shade I rolled in was Bori. <laughs> and ah, uh, this guy. I rolled out a purple only to get bright pinks. However, I can deal with pink way more than purple. The only issue with this shade is I think it does have like some staining that occurs when I wear it, but this will look really pretty with that like pink eye base that I'm working on in the graveyard project pan. So that is that guy. Man, we are looking bright and exciting. The next shade I rolled in was from my James Charles Morphe palette. I depotted it, so I just stuck the shade in here. Um, the shade that I'm working on is gonna be this shade here called Hello. Really pretty, really pretty color. And this will go really well with that blue that I'm working on. So actually pretty excited to get some like straight blue looks. So that is that guy there. Really pretty, really, really pretty. And then last but not least is another Juvia's Place palette. This is my Saharan palette. This was ranked number one in my Juvia's, or my ranking my Juvia's Place palettes. I love this palette. I love this palette so much. Uh, the shade... I mean, I really, really, really wish I would have gotten the shade Odabi here, but I got the shade Jamila, which is this guy there. Not too far off from the shade that I was working on in like January and February, which was the Zakia from the, was it the Masquerade palette or was it this one? Yeah, the Magic palette. So I, I'm excited. I'm excited to get use out of this. So... So that is Jamila there. It'll actually pair really, really beautifully with this Twilight Flash. These two blues obviously would pair really beautifully together. And then who knows how I'm gonna pair that yellow and pink. So if you have any tips on color combinations that you would pair with this, or like if you would throw another color into here for like a complete look, let me know. That is, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the support and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.